I want to talk to you about uh, uh, one of the books that we've written. Over and over, people ask me, well, which is your favorite book? Now, I've got children. That would be like asking, which one of these are your favorite? No, they're all precious because the books God has given them to me. And he said, I'll give you the pen of a ready writer. And he said, I want you to record what I tell you to record. And so that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. I've written a book called Audience with the King. Now, I'll tell you how this came into pass. Audience with the King. Here, uh, The Lord Jesus appeared to me. He was just a few feet away from me. And he was looking at me. But he was melancholy. He was sad looking. And I will, I'll guarantee you the Lord is not sad. He's the happiest person ever lived. But he appeared to be sad. And he spoke to me. And here's what he said, Bobby. My people don't like to talk to me. He said, the least attended service in any church is prayer meeting. He said, but I am going to give you a phrase, a statement that will turn prayer from a drudgery to a delight, from a duty to a desire. I said, Lord, I want it. I want you to give me that phrase that's going to change the whole paradigm about prayer. And here's what it is. He, he, his face was glowing and he was gleaming. He said, here it is. You tell my people what true prayer is. And this is the title of the book. True prayer is an audience with the king. Oh, can you imagine? Can you imagine the king of glory, the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the creator of this whole universe says to us, call unto me and I will answer you. I will show you great and mighty things you have no comprehension of. That's Jeremiah 33, 3. Here's Job 22, 28. And you shall decide a thing. Then you decree what you decided and the Lord will establish it and the light of his favor will shine upon your pathway. And I want us to look. The Lord Jesus Christ taught us about prayer. The disciples of Christ, they never, not, not one single time can I find in scripture where they said, Lord, Teach us to preach. And we know that Jesus was one of the greatest teachers and preachers there was. And then, then the disciples never said, Lord, teach us to do a miracle. And he was the most miraculous miracle worker that ever walked the face of the earth. What request did the disciples say? Their request was, Lord, teach us to pray. And Jesus does that. In here, I give the model prayer that Jesus gave to the disciples. And I, I want you to get audience with the king. I researched mighty men and women of the past that, that were prayer warriors, and we need to glean from what they've said about us. They've said about the kingdom of God. Here, audience with the king, arise, respond to the luring of the almighty. The almighty is alluring his bride into intimacy with him. Look what he says. Uh, this is Song of Solomon 2, verses 10. It says, my beloved spoke to me and said to me, rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. Oh, the Bible says, draw me, and I will run after thee. And here's Hosea 2, verses 14 through 16, talking about the wooing ways of God, wanting his people to talk to him and communicate with him. Here it is, uh, embrace the wooing ways of God. Uh, this is on, still on the introduction of the prayer book. But when I, well, then I will win her back once again. I will lead her into the desert and speak tenderly to her. There I will re return her vineyards to her and uh, transform the valley of trouble into a gateway of hope. She will give herself to me there. I'm talking, this is about the bride of Christ. This is about the church. And she will give herself to me there. And she will, as she did long ago when she was young, when I freed her from her captivity in Egypt, when that day, comes that she will say to me Lord you will call me my husband instead of my master and there's going to be a transition of intimacy here instead of saying my master you're going to be saying my husband oh that's Hosea 2 verses 14 through 16 now we need to understand almighty God is a prayer answering God he wants us to call unto him and prayer really really changes things intercessory prayer it's very important here's what Andrew Murray said about intercessory prayer the man who mobilizes the Christian church to pray will make the greatest contribution to world evangelism in history I believe that if we'll teach the people to pray, my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Turn away from their sins. I'll hear from heaven. I'll forgive your sin and I'll heal your land. Ian Bounds. Here's what he says. Prayer makes a godly man and puts within him the mind of Christ, the mind of humility, the mind of self-surrender, of service, of piety, of power and prayer. It, it is with this man that God will commune. And I'll tell you what, Billy Graham, here's what he said. To get a nation back on its feet, 
you have to first get them back on their knees. That's what Dr. Billy Graham said. I believe that with all my heart. Ian Bounce, here's what he said. Prayer should not be regarded as a duty which must be performed, but rather it's a privilege to be enjoyed. A rare delight that is always revealing some new beauty. Prayer, E.M. Bounce. Oh, man. Listen, it's very important. Corey Ten Boone. Oh, man. Here's what she says. Any concern that is too small to be turned into prayer is too small to be made a burden. That's Corey Ten Boone. If it's too small to pray about, don't even worry about it. Here's E.M. Bounce. Prayer is not learned in the classroom, but in the closet. I believe that. Oh, I do. I really believe that prayer is not, it's not some kind of vocal, uh, it's not sometimes trying to uh, show how many how many uh, verses you know. No, that's not it. It's a cry of your heart to Father God asking and petitioning something. One, one perfect prayer, power of prayer is the intercessory of Christ. Hebrews 7, verse 25. Therefore, he's, therefore, he is able also to save to the uttermost completely, perfectly, and finally, and for all time and eternity, those who come to him through, to him through, to God through him, since he is always living to make petition to God and intercede for him and intervene for them. The Lord is our heavenly intercessor. Day and night, he intercedes for us. He really does. So I, want, I want you to get into the prayer book. Let the prayer book get into you. I'll tell you what. God, God says he wants us to call unto him and he will answer us. He'll show us great and mighty things that we cannot find comprehensible until he reveals him and releases him. Audience with the king, the altar of incense. Oh, we talk about that. We talk about the fragrance of our prayers going up before the very nostrils of God and God loves prayer. He really does. There is, there is. here's what I wrote on the back of the boat cover. There is absolutely nothing we can do on earth that is more powerful and, and productive than prayer. There's nothing. Nothing can move the heart and the hand of God like prayer. Prayer changes things. Whatsoever things you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you'll have them. Uh, you can order our book. It's on our webpage. It shows how to get it. Audience with the King. I promise you this. You get in this book. Let this book get into you. You start changing your prayer uh, and begin to make it petitions and praise to him. And I'll tell you what, follow the pattern that he laid out. After this manner, pray ye our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging you to get the prayer book Find out about prayer. Find out every verse. We put verse after verse after verse about prayer in this book because we want to study to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that does not have to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So Bobby Connor, audience with the king, you can look on our webpage, bookstore, find out how to get it, and it'll be mailed to your, to your address. God bless you. God bless your family. And I mean that. I, I, I want you to put down a verse for 2023, Psalm 65, 11. He crowns this year with his goodness. He crowns this year with his goodness. And everywhere his wagon, his chariot wheels roll, it drips with fatness or plenty. A crown this year with his goodness. We need to start not looking at the mayhem and the calamities. We need to look higher. Isaiah 26, 30, it says, that will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon thee. So prayer is one of the ways to pray away anxiety and begin to praise God with prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will keep your heart and your mind through Christ. Get the book. The book will get you and you'll become a real student of prayer knowing that we have not because you ask not, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it'll be opened unto you. God bless you. God bless your family. Thank you again for watching Bobby's Briefings.